about it. How do you get it? What are your goals? What are the things you want to accomplish? And we have these wonderful ladies here today that's going to give us very good information on their expertise on how to accomplish your goals, or you can use it for your particular goal, okay? Right. So we have, first of all, we're going to talk from um, Shay. She's coming from the finance industry, Hi, and she's going to give you a little bit about a highlight of her life, and then I'll let her go ahead and present. Okay. Well, my professional it was pharmaceutical sales. I was in the pharmaceutical sales career selling over 20 different um, drugs to doctors. <laughs> <laughs> doctors, oh, okay. real doctors and pharmaceutical <laughs> drugs. Pharmaceutical sales. You have, to, you have, to have yes, you have board. a prescription for it. Yes. <laughs> two major highlights. Highlight number one was that I was awarded the number one pharmaceutical sales rep in the nation out of 387 awesome. reps based yeah. on sales alone. And the second um, highlight was that I obtained my master's degree in healthcare uh, administration and management. And I did both of those things while I was a single parent. So I'm yeah. really, really proud of that. Applause. Applause. Thank you. Thank you very much. And then much. we have Miss Becky. She comes from the world of art. She is an artist, a real artist, not a janky artist. A real artist. <laughs> <laughs> not a janky artist. I love a janky artist. So Becky, tell us a little bit about your career and a highlight of your career. Well, some people might call me a janky artist. I'm not sure. <laughs> but, you know, art is in the eye of the beholder, you know. Um, and so my career has been one where, um, you know, today we're talking about having it, the it factor. Um, in art, it's, uh, it's a very personal thing. Um, one of the biggest challenges for me to try and be successful is not being afraid of putting myself out there with my art. You know, it's all coming from my head to my heart to my hand type of thing. And um, I've had to really face my fears to, mm. and I still do it every day. I mean, yeah. I'm not done yet. I'm still looking for that it factor. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I, I feel like um, I'm just putting it out there every day, not being afraid. Mm -hmm. This well, is Tanya. Hi. <laughs> well, <clears throat> my it factor, I have a couple different it factors because I have been a single parent. Um, that within itself um, was a challenge and also was an accomplishment or is an accomplishment. Yes, it is. Um, the, the other it factor, I've been in the corporate world. Uh, I've worked my way. I worked my way um, from the bottom, worked my way up, and I've also been an entrepreneur. So, um, the, I think the main thing is just having the vision, being able to see where you're trying to go. And if you can see it and you can believe it, you can get there. Mm -hmm. And I'm still working on getting there because I realized my dreams at a older age. So, um, I'm still working on it, but you have to visualize and you got to see where you're going in order to make it. My personal background is from the beauty industry. I've been in it over 30 some years. I'm a survivor! Yay! <laughs> and I wrote a book on it. It's on Amazon, My Best Selfie, The V Factor. I wrote it because I was very discouraged to see so many talented young people not be able to continue their career because maybe they mm. lost a job or was not able to stay at a mall situation or a retail outlet. Um, those things are not designed to keep you. So with my uh, background, I said, let me show them everything that I could possibly think of to help you keep your job. And that transcends over into any industry pretty much. So that's pretty much what my it factor is. And now I want to ask a, ask a couple of questions. Mm -hmm. um, for example, Shay, tell me about when you're you know, trying to succeed, while you were in your career, mm -hmm. um, what was one of the biggest challenges you faced and how did you overcome it? Time management mm. was um, a, a constant challenge for me because I had 
a middle school student that was an athlete and I had very many responsibilities with mm -hmm. my job and then once I um, was in school then during the morning and afternoon I had my job and my son and then in the afternoon and evening I had school and my son and my job so mm -hmm. Uh, keeping in mind that no man or woman is an island mm -hmm. and that it takes a village, a true village, to raise a child and go to school and work right. if you're a single parent. Yeah. I was very fortunate to create a village. And that's what I would say. If you're in that situation where you're a single parent, create a village. Create a village where you have the ability to spend some time with your son or daughter or your family if you have multiple children, but that you don't have to worry about what's going on with your children and that they're being taught the same things that you would like for them to be taught and that you know that they're in the best capable hands possible. Awesome. So yeah. that's what I would say. Yeah. Becky, how about yourself? Like um, being an artist, now I know that it's coming from your heart. So you cannot just whip out the paintbrush on a moment's notice and start creating things because it has to come from within. So tell us about how you have been able to manage that. How have you balanced that out trying to pursue it? Well, it's interesting being an artist um, because for me, I do have to be moved by something. Um, I'm actually at my very best when I can try and whip out something and um, and let my creativity flow and not judge what I'm doing, just mm -hmm. have it flow. Mm -hmm. um, but I also struggle sometimes because I truly have, I have to feel like doing it. Yeah. So that is a challenge for me. Um, sometimes I'm really good at it and sometimes I just feel like I can't find it. So. It's ongoing. I have to be honest. It's ongoing. It's uh, so, Tanya working in the video world. You know, creating and producing, <laughs> uh, managing. Yes. yes. So tell us a little bit about the biggest challenge. And you know, the other day you mentioned ego, too. Yeah. I thought that was an awesome point. Yeah. Yeah. It's <clears throat> when you're when you're an entrepreneur, um, especially certain businesses, you have to be careful that you don't lead with your ego. Um, for me, my biggest challenge has always just been myself. Um, just in knowing, getting to that place where I know who I am, I know what I want, I know how I want to do this, and walk in my truth. And sometimes everyone doesn't agree with that. And, and, and when you're working with others, they're walking, if they're walking in their truth and you're walking in yours, sometimes those two truths can't come together. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, it's, it's a whole separate thing. So, um, you know, you just, that's why I say when it comes down to your dreams and, and the things that you want to do, you really sometimes have to do it yourself until you can um, start to, to blossom. Mm -hmm. And um, um, because it's your dream. Yeah, right. yeah. It's you your dream. And it. you got to hold on to it. <laughs> and you have to believe in it even when other people don't. What, what? What made you, um, you know, when you were in the music world, what made you feel like this is something that I want to do, you know, against all odds? What was the biggest thing that you were trying to convey? What did you, what was it that you wanted to really give? Well, I used to be in a group mm. years oh, ago. A girl, yeah, group, a girl group. <gasps> yes. We were in a girl group oh in goodness. Charlotte, North Carolina. Yes, oh, I was. I you used to. Well, I can do a little something, <laughs> a little something, you know. Yeah, um, I, was the, I was the rapper. I was the rapper. Oh my goodness! Yes. Oh, you know, okay. I was okay. the rapper. I was the rapper okay. of the group. But um, the th the thing is, is that music has always moved me, and it's moved me in some of my ups and some of my downs. And that's it's always been there for me. I could go to music. Ooh, and when I'm down, music always mm -hmm. made me feel better. Mm -hmm. And I, when we looked at the industry, we knew that um, it was not a good place, especially when you 